Radio Cairo. What's going on? It's life. And that's the road. Life on the road. Hello everybody over there and welcome to a new edition of Life on the Road brought to you by the European Service of Radio Cairo on FM 95.4 Today I have an exclusive interview with Dr. Firas Hamdan a plastic surgeon in a family where he has a wife, sisters and mom For myself, my wife, my sister and even my mom is keeping them as natural as can be you know i'm not into the big cheeks big lips you know big hips big uh, 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 you know chest so uh, uh, being beautiful and fortunately my wife is scared of needles so she is not all into it uh, but doing the minimum needed to let them age gracefully uh, is what is important rather than start cutting and filling and pulling Uh, at an early age and then by the time it's really needed we already done it and we have nothing to do oh. so prevention uh, and maintenance is very important and avoiding surgery uh, we're not going to avoid it forever i mean if somebody needs it we will do it but uh, uh, maintaining until the time of surgery and then maintaining until after surgery is very important Unfortunately in our age there's a lot of weight loss surgeries that are going around like the people who do uh, cutting their stomachs or you know uh, avoiding it to to lose weight uh, those people at early age 20 or 30 they're all of a sudden losing a lot of weight and their skin is just falling out of their face of their breast or their uh, you know stomachs and then they have nothing to do but have a surgery early on so we our motto for facelift was late 40s early 50s now sometimes we might have to do it on a, a girl that's 30 years old because she lost too much skin and she has no more fat to to fill her up so we have to tighten the skin sometimes and use other products that are safe to fill up the face and make her look natural we're pulling to bring them back to where they were their face was beautiful but their body was bigger than their face now they lost all the weight yeah. and the face has fallen at an early age so yeah. sometimes we have to do it if we have what about your sister asking for your help uh, well I mean they all I have three sisters you know uh, and very proud of them and they come to me and they are saying let's do this this and show me pictures I said no I will do this and they listen to me and now I've, I've been back from the US in 2006 so now we are 13 years here in the Middle East together and they all look beautiful and natural and have not done any surgery on their faces yet. They are so lucky having you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And, you know, we're lucky to meet you today. As managing director and owner of Highness Beauty Clinics, Dr. Firas Hamdan has found the lack of follow-up on patients after an intervention, whether surgical or non-surgical. The concept of Highness came where we are now opening a chain of clinics that is related to beauty only, whether uh, and healthy living basically, you know, beauty on the inside and the outside. So you have to be uh, healthy, you have to uh, uh, age nicely, you know, because everybody's going to age. We cannot, yes. you know, just deny it. So yeah. we want to age nicely. We don't want to, uh, to get to the point of no return and then say, now what we can do? Then the intervention is very big. So now when we do a minor intervention at an early age and then continue with exercises, with machines, with special diet and creams, And then when the time for surgery comes in, then we can also start again intervening. And then the follow-up after surgery is very important, whether we're doing body sculpting, whether we're doing face lifting, whether we're doing uh, hair transplant, for example. Now there's a lot of things that we have to add to get the results even better because you can be the best surgeon and not take care of the wound or of the incision or of the patient afterwards and then the surgery will be a failure. So uh, preparing somebody for surgery and taking care of them after surgery for months and years to come is very important now. So it's not only a good surgeon, it's a good global approach to the patient. 
Okay, uh, tell me about the main target of today's event. What brought me to Cairo today, this whole event uh, is under the direction of President Sisi to help uh, the disabled uh, children to yeah. integrate into the, uh, the whole community to, yes. beca to feel normal. Yes. And since our uh, job is to make people feel normal in their shape, you know, by yes. making them more beautiful, yeah. uh, helping the needy uh, uh, children and, uh, you know, just po people who have sp special disabilities. Uh, we tell them that they might have a special disability physically, but mentally or uh, uh, emotionally, they are much more better than us because they can compensate in a better way. And we are here to help them and to promote their uh, integration into the environment. Yes. I have to seize the opportunity because I have a plastic surgeon on my show. Yes. I need your tips. Well, you know, the, the minimum tips is, you know, we are living here. Cairo is very dry sometimes. The sun is very, you know, we, we, you know, we, we pride ourselves for the sun. Yeah. But the sun sometimes have some damages on the skin. So, yes. you know, we have to take care. We need the sun for vitamin D, we need the sun for our health, but too much mm -hmm. and not protecting our skin from the sun will make it age faster. Yes. We live in a polluted environment, you know, Cairo, uh, Beirut, we have a lot of pollution. So also, you know, that suffocates our skin. Uh, on top of that is the smoking, the shisha, the, all the yes. things that we cause to ourselves, the lack of sleep, staying up on the phones and the computers. So we start with ourselves, be healthy, yeah. and then uh, you know try to avoid anything that will damage our skin because it's gonna age anyway why add more harming factors to it and then you know try to counteract what we cause damage to our skin with some products and then final 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 thing you get to the surgeon and we do what we needs to be done if we have to do anything <laughs> yes okay okay is there a, a strong link between the food we eat and the beauty or we are lying on ourselves. Well, you know, old. Let's let's go to the Japanese. You know, they are the 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 people who are just eating raw fish and you know herbs and stuff like that. They're living to a hundred. Now, do we want to live to a hundred and not being healthy? No, we want to age gracefully, as we say. Yeah. Whether it's a short life or a long life, as long as we are feeling good and looking good and feeling healthy is what we want. It's not just life extension by itself is not an aim is just you know living good for as long as you can have it mm. so the food of course you know a lot of hormones are getting into our foods into our uh, uh, even uh, the the greeneries that we eat the you know we're adding to it hormones the the chicken the fish oh, it's all been farmed so uh, trying as organic as you want to be or as healthy as you want to be is is one thing but also we don't want to be carried away after the quote unquote organic where it's becoming all commercial mm. and more expensive and maybe yes, they're not true. organic yes. or now it's the gluten free you know everybody is gluten free and it's more expensive to buy gluten free or not you excuse know, me i'm sorry to say that a lot of people cannot afford the organic food exactly you know the real organic food is what we used to grow in our villages yeah. you know whether here in egypt or in lebanon or anywhere you know where it's everything organic the the fertilizers from the uh, you know cow manure and you know the the so that's that's the real organic uh, uh, what we what we mean by organic and what we really want to organic is to be a way of antibiotic given to chicken and to cows you know so that they and giving them the hormone to grow faster and put them on the market faster that's what we need to avoid but anything else is is acceptable The Lebanese plastic surgeon, Dr. Firas Hamdan, is delivering his message to the whole world from Cairo. Uh, you know, being a plastic surgeon and uh, having now all these clinics that take care of patients before and after, it's a very important message to give to all the ladies and all the men, because we are doing a lot of body sculpting for men, yes. you know, for the people uh, who are going to the gym and their muscles are not showing up. Rather than them taking hormones and hurting their body, we can sculpt their, uh, their body, for example. But this is very important to say, as I said, for both women and men, is we fix you and we make you look better on your own self. We are not in the business of changing the people feature to make them look like a celebrity, to make them look like Kim Kardashian or Haifa Wehbi or 
uh, Brad Pitt, you know, or the Joe Angle of uh, Wael Kfouri or whatever it is. If somebody is eligible to get better in their own shape, we are all for it. But when somebody tell me I want to look like this and they pull out their cell phone and show me a photo or I want my waist to be this big and my, uh, excuse my French, my butt to be this big, you know, we don't do it because they might not uh, be uh, eligible for it and it might not look good on it even though in their mind they just become fixated on celebrities. Now is the age of uh, the Kardashians uh, and all the people that you see on social media. Before that it was you know, uh, Marlene Monroe, and then in the future we don't know who it will be. And then, fortunately or unfortunately, people who change their shape today to look like somebody they would like to look like, maybe 20 years from now it becomes out of fashion and surgery cannot be undone. So this is very important. The message you like to deliver? Uh, my message is live healthy, be happy, uh, emotional, and then physical, and then the appearance, you know, because if you look good and you're inside very sad and you're trying to just look good because your uh, friend has done this or your neighbor has done that or because you saw some celebrity on TV that has done that, it will make you more unhappy on the inside and this is not what we recommend. We want you to be happy on the inside and if we can help you on the outside, well, then we can do the job. You have been listening to Dr. Firas Hamdan, a plastic surgeon and managing director of Highness Beauty Clinics. And that's it for today's edition of Life on the Road, brought to you by the European Service of Radio Cairo on FM 95.4. From Mohammed Mustafa at the controls and Mona Hosni, have a lovely day. Life on the Road. with Mona Hosni.